Welcome to this how to wire a light switch video. Here you will learn all the steps to installing a light switch for new construction. We're going to show you how to install a light switch in new construction. Now there are two ways to wire a single pole light switch, either with the power coming from the light or power coming to the switch from somewhere else. This installation shows you how to install the switch when the power comes from somewhere else. The first thing that needs to be done is the installation of the handy box that the switch will be installed on. Handy boxes come with several features to help you install and use them. The first are these depth gauges that show you the depth of the box needs to be installed on the wall so that the drywall can fit between the face of the box and the wall studs. The next feature they have are these pre-installed nails that allow you to set it on the wall stud and nail it on. The third feature they have are these knockouts. They allow you to pull the wire into the box. The unused knockouts must be left closed. To install the handy box, you take a tape measure and measure up from the ground 48 inches. Use a pen or pencil and mark the wall stud at the 48 inch mark. This will be the top of the electrical handy box. Now, set the top of the box in line with the mark you made on the wall stud. You will also set the depth gauges so that they are touching the face of the wall stud. Use a hammer and nail the box to the wall stud. Now you are ready to pull the wire into the box. The wire should come into the box through the knockout that is closest to the direction the wire is coming from. Use a screwdriver and a hammer to punch out the knockouts you intend to use. You want to remove about 9 inches of sheathing from the wires. This will give you 3 inches of wire inside the box and about 6 inches of wire outside the box. Current electrical codes say that you can have a minimum of 6 inches from the back of the box. Using 9 inches of wire makes it easier to wire up the switch and allows room for error. I will show you how to remove the sheathing using the ends of the wire strippers. You will pinch the sheathing on the edges to break the sheathing without cutting the wire inside. You can feel the wire inside when you grab it and pull off a bit of the sheathing. Flip it around and break the other side. Now bend the wire away from one of the holes in the sheathing to stretch the surface and pull the sheathing off the end of the wires. It will break at the two holes you made in the sheathing. Now you are ready to pull the wires into the box. I like to pull the wires into the box with the black wire on the right hand side. This helps keep the wires organized once they are inside the box because the hot terminals on the switches and outlets are on the right hand side. Pull the wires into the box until the sheathing comes into the box about a half an inch. The second wire is stripped of the sheathing and pulled into the box just like the first wire. Now you will strip the individual wires of their sheathing. You want to take one inch of insulation off the ends of each of the wires. Doing this now helps keep the carpets clean when we come through to install the switch and trim. After the sheathing is off, you will bend the ends of the black wires so that they can go around the terminals on the light switch. The white wires and ground wires are left straight so they can be connected using wire nuts. Use the holes in the sides of your wire strippers to bend the ends of the wires into a cane shape. This can also be done using needle nose pliers. When the power comes from somewhere different than the light, you will attach the white wires and ground wires together using wire nuts. The black wires are left until the switch is installed. Twist the wire nuts onto the wires until just after it stops screwing on and begins to twist the wires. You should have about two twists on the wires below the wire nut. The ground wires are attached to each other in the same way. You can now push the wires into the box. Fold the wires into the box from the top to the bottom so that they can easily be pulled back out of the box just like an accordion opens. Now we are ready to support the cable outside the box. 
Current electrical codes require boxes without clamps to have the wire supported within 8 inches of the box. Use a cable staple to attach the cable to a wall stud. After the wall finishes are installed, you will be ready to install the light switch. You will pull the two black wires out of the handy box and put the wires around the posts on the light switch. They should go around the posts in a clockwise direction so that they do not try to pull off when the screw is tightened. With a single pole light switch, it does not matter which post the black wires are attached to, only that there is one on each post. Once the screws are firmly tightened to the wires, you will fold the wires back into the box and screw the mounting screws that came with the switch into the holes on the handy box. Continue learning about electrical projects by clicking on one of these videos. Thanks for watching.